everyone. So awesome to see you here on the St Kilda Mums Facebook page because it's a bloody big day. We're going to put our hands in our pockets and we're going to raise a million bucks. It is giving day, okay? For every dollar that you give, it is going to be quadrupled, which is like four times the amount that you give, which is huge. Um, more so now than ever. Families are in desperate need with everything that's been going on with COVID. Um, we've got to get more supplies out to more families. Cots, prams, nappies, clothing, we need it all. And this is what this money is going to go towards. Um, and if you're on this page, you obviously know what St Kilda Mums is all about, and uh, which is great. So make sure you get involved in any way that you can. Also, go to the website and check out how you can get back involved with the donating. There are certain times that you can um, drop off your donations again, which is awesome. That is all open. Um, also, get back into volunteering as well. So today, I'm going to chat with CEO Jesse McPherson, my good mate Chrissy Swan, beautiful Megan Gale, and the delight that is Della. If you were at our St Kilda Mum's Mother's Day last year, you will know who I'm talking about. She is all forms of fabulous. So it's going to be great fun. We're going to hear how they um, became involved with St Kilda Mums and also just chat about um, the importance of what this giving day is all about. So get involved. Share it with your friends. Tag in your mates. Let's do this. How are you, Jessie? Hi. I'm great. I'm great. Hey, Jesse, I love um, getting to chat to you today. It is such an important day. You are the lady behind St Kilda Mums. And I love Thank where you. you are right now is where I first came to fold beautiful yeah. clothes and make beautiful packs. And um, in that very okay. house where you're sitting now, probably, what was it, eight years ago? Easily eight years ago now, yeah. yeah. Amazing. It's amazing how much it's grown and amazing how... It just connects with so many different people. And I, there was a quote that I shared recently, someone had written that said, when you give another mum a bundle of baby clothing, you're giving her a piece of your heart. And I thought, that is so true. And you have to you have to have done it and you have to have received it to really understand yeah. how true that quote is. Yeah. Gave yeah. Me also, oh, you know what? You put your baby yeah. in so special, first, especially your firstborn, you know, second one. Who exactly. Kept- <laughs> it's so precious. So giving it away, knowing another baby and another mum is yeah. going to get, you know, get to use this and hold her beautiful baby in the clothes your baby was in is pretty special. Yes, um, yeah. And so today, massive day. Massive, massive. Yes. Yeah, our annual giving day is another highlight of the year and it's just incredible that all donations will be quadruple today. So um, it just makes such a huge difference. So instead of giving one cot, you can give four, for yeah. example. Yeah, 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 yeah. which is yeah. amazing. So if I'm to give 25 bucks, $100 will actually end up going to St Kilda Mums. Correct, correct. Which is so brilliant. Yeah, it is brilliant. And uh you're, when you make a, a donation on the website, you're able to leave a message of support. So what I did last year is, is I made a whole lot of gifts for my friends who've got birthdays in July and said, happy birthday. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you know, I've donated yeah, all clothing in your name. And, yeah. they were, and they were they were really surprised and touched, particularly because, you know, they're friends who haven't heard from me for years and live in other countries and things. And then when they saw what I'd done, they were really touched. And then they went onto the website and gave as well, which was great. Oh, so, unreal. Yeah. So how's COVID time yeah. been for you guys at St Kilda Mums? I know it's been so strange yeah. for everyone and I've thought about you guys during this time because yeah. I guess when it did happen, everyone, including myself, was like, what does this mean financially for myself? So did everything mm-hmm. pull right back in terms of donations and how have you kind of kept going during that time? Well, it was very scary. We have to acknowledge how scary it was in the beginning because we had no idea how long lockdown might last, right? We had no no idea how bad it might get. But the first um, big decision we had to make was to close for donations and for our volunteers. Um, and so that meant for the month of April, it was really pretty scary. Uh, uh, 
but the, the great news is that is that we never close our doors. So we continue to serve social workers. We continue wow. to distribute the goods. And that was only possible because we had a huge number of, um, uh, we had a huge amount of stock on the shelves thanks to yeah. all the donations we got in January, you know, after the Christmas school holidays clean yeah. out, you know, yeah. we had, we had some really good um, stock on the shelves and, and thanks to our volunteers as well who kept the place really, you know, well stocked. And so in, in April, we had a core group of our permanent staff and we, we, we're operating in St Kilda and Geelong and Ballarat and we've got just a very, very small team of, of staff um, who all work part-time as well, right? So a lot of, there was a, just a core crew of people who kept it going. And the amazing things is the amazing thing is that the social workers were continuing to serve the family. So in some instances, they were coming to pick up from us and they were leaving the goods on the front porch of the family that they were helping because they, you know, they were observing the the whole non the contactless service. Um, but it was very challenging. And as a lot of, you know, the maternal child health nurses would try and do their home visit, you know, over a video. But of course, a lot of the families don't have, you know, computers, good internet, um, you know, they don't have enough data on their mobile phone so that they can offer video. So there were a lot of families who were falling through the cracks and that was that was pretty tough and pretty scary. But in May, things started to improve. Social workers started having more physical contact with their clients. I mean, it was a terrifying time to be giving birth because a lot of women were unable to have a birth partner in the suite with them. So... You know, there were, there were all sorts of challenges going on. Because May to May, uh, we normally have our two Mother's Day lunches, one in St Kilda and one in Geelong. It's our biggest kind of fundraiser for the year, biggest fundraising event for the year. And we had to cancel that. So that was a, a massive gap in our budget of over $200,000, right? And of course, our corporate volunteering program abruptly ended in January as well, because a, a lot of the companies are global companies who started restricting you know, their staff movements um, in January. So so it's really hard. Like, it's horrible not being, it's horrible letting casual staff go. You know, it's horrible not having work for them. It's horrible, um, you know, and, and, and any business owner would have been in the same situation that we were in, which is, you know, our business has just abruptly kind of stopped in some ways. Yeah. And what do we do with these great people? So, and then of course we employ a lot of women, and we employ a lot of women who are parents. And then we had that added struggle of looking after our kids, you know, remote learning, and and yeah. it was just it was just a perfect storm, wasn't it? Of it was of you know back on this time and go, oh my god, we I had to during it go, we're living through something. Yeah. Like, as long as it is, it's quite incredible that we're going to live through it and our kids are going to be like, yeah, we, we lived through COVID telling their yeah. grandkids about it, you know. It's, yeah. it's a bizarre time. But I also think one that's stripped us back to go, actually, what's really important? What do yeah. we need? And yeah. hopefully in a way that will benefit you guys. I know for myself it's made me look pretty deeply at myself and, and realised um, the excess that I have in my life and how little I do need. Um, yeah. Other people have nothing, you know. Yeah, the work that you guys do, and that's what today is all about: is getting the cap, yeah. to get it to the people. That's that right. That's um, right. And a lot of people find it quite overwhelming. A lot of people, you know, when I share stats about the rates of childhood poverty in Australia, or 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 the fact that you know, if you're you're growing up in a single parent family, you're twice as likely to be living in poverty. You know, these some horrific statistics. Mm -hmm. um, about you know the number of uh, the, the number of kids living in poverty, but the fact is is that yes, one in six kids are living in poverty in Australia, but five in six are not. And actually, of the five in six, there's a lot of us who have a lot of stuff to share. Mm -hmm. And all we're talking about is is taking that access and making sure that it's clean and safe. And then giving it to somebody who really needs it, but giving it in a way that respects their privacy and their dignity. I mean, that's the key thing, right? We never know who these goods are going to because the social worker is the intermediary. And the social worker is the one who has all the training to provide that family with the support they need to 
you know, get out of whatever situation they've gotten themselves into, be that housing support or financial counselling or maybe supporting a mum leaving a, a violent relationship, et cetera. Those, those social workers are the experts. And, and for them to be able to show up for their first visit with the family with their arms full of beautiful clothing bundles and toys and books and things, it just means, you know, that the, the door will be open, they'll be welcomed, um, into the family home in a way that they wouldn't be able to otherwise. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so today put your yes. pockets if you can and donate. Raising money for essentials, prams, cots, um, clothes, the things that many of us just take for granted and yes. um, a lot of women do not have access to this stuff. So today, let's get it happy. Right. million dollars is the aim. It's a big aim, but that's what I love about you guys. Yeah. Go, go. And leave a message of support too, if you're able to. Last year we had we had a huge number of people making five dollar donations who mm-hmm. said that they had received goods from us. And of course, on the day they're giving twenty dollars. So mm-hmm. that is the amazing thing to think that we've helped people when they've been going through a really tough time, and then they're in the they're in the position they've moved beyond that situation. They're in the position where they can start giving back and thinking of others, and that's um, very okay. powerful. Sorry, yeah. just before we do go, because we've got some yeah. other words to get to today to find out what's going on in their worlds and to, um, yeah. uh, oh, let's just get this hashtag out there. It is Give, Share, Care, and $1 million is the aim today. And also, yeah. you guys are open now for donations and for volunteers yeah. to come back in. I think a lot of people who possibly can't donate um, would like to know how else they can get involved with St Kilda Mums. So 30 Absolutely. <laughs> so please visit our website. Uh, we're offering contactless drop-offs at the moment, but people do have to book in. So there's all the information about how to book in to drop off your donations. Uh, we're also starting to reopen for larger groups of volunteers. Unfortunately, with social distancing in place, we do have to cap the numbers, but we're hoping that as we go into winter and out of lockdown, there will be more opportunities to welcome more volunteers uh, into our into both uh, into all three locations: Geelong, Ballarat, and St Kilda. Beautiful. Thank you, Jesse. Can't wait to Thanks, see. Thanks, Monty. You. Uh, great job as always. You're brilliant. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hey, Chrissy. Hi, Monts. God, I miss your face. I miss yours. It's good. Well, look, we're looking at each other now. I know. And you know what? We um, have been mates for, I reckon, like close to 10 years now. Yeah. This is shameful, though, because we're both such hermits and introverts that we don't like leaving our couch and we have almost a standoff of whose couch we're going to. Completely. And, and the stand- nobody wins the standoff. Hey. Nobody wins the standoff. No one. So we don't see each other unless it's at the St Kilda's Mother's Day lunch. I know. Which this year we didn't. We haven't seen each other for over a year. It's it's embarrassing, isn't it? And I don't want people to think that we're not in love because we really are. Let's, we we call each other and just say we're still in love. Yeah. But let's still not go to each other's couch because you live on the wrong side of town. Well, maybe you live on the wrong side of town. <laughs> So, Swan, today's a massive day at St Kilda Mums. It is giving day. Yeah. Okay, so for everything that is donated, every cent that is donated will be quadrupled. Which I is- love this. This is, it's so great because if you donate $100, mm. you're really donating $400. How good does that feel? It feels so good. And the aim today is to raise a million dollars, which is, a whole lot of cash that will be spent so beautifully dispersed between the people in need for simple things like cots, prams, um, you know, clothing for your little beautiful babies, all of the stuff that you and I just completely and utterly take for granted, Swan. Absolutely. And I think that's what, you know, I came to realise when I started hanging out with St Kilda Mums is that I never, I never considered for a minute that I wouldn't have a safe cot for my baby. Mm. I never thought in winter, because I had a little winter baby, my baby's a winter baby, I, that I won't have an 
enough blanket or that he won't be as snug as a bug in a rug. And yet that is the reality for so many women. And the, the numbers are increasing because of this terrible time that we found ourselves in 2020. You know what What, what um, kind of rocked me the most is when, um, you know, people who have multiple babies or, you know, multiple kids, maybe a four-year-old, a three-year-old and a baby, and they don't have a car and a lot of women don't even have a pram, so they're literally housebound. Because imagine just trying to get your three kids out without a pram. And I, to I me, like, what? I know, but we've all realised how hideous being housebound with our children can be. I mean, we've all really experienced that over the last two or three months and it is really hard. You feel like you're losing your mind if you can't yeah. just get out. Totally. So this is what um, today, today is giving day and that is where all of the money is going to get essentials and stuff like that straight to the people who need it the most. How's your COVID time been though? We had a little chat a couple of days ago and we were saying yeah. I'm about to pack my bags and run to Bansdale or something. <laughs> so done. I look at everyone in my house and I'm like, don't like you, don't like you, don't like you. It's funny, isn't it? But didn't we start off with such joy? Uh, the first month I was like, well, this is me. I'm a, I'm a homeschooler and I didn't realise it. You know, <laughs> we're living in a commune. Um, you know, I was baking bread from scratch and we were watching with great joy as it rose near the heater and um, we spent two hours one night uh, collecting things from the dark enchanted garden, putting them under a microscope. By the end, I was, it was like I was in a coma, still animated. Yeah. <laughs> like a zombie, a zombie, a zombie. I completely shut down. I'd shut off. It wasn't that I was in a bad mood. It was like I can't relate to anyone else. I've got nothing else to give. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden the kids went back to school and I'm just, I'm living, I'm feeling fabulous, you yeah, know, exactly. two days in. You know what I was like, if I had heard mom sounding in that whingy voice mm. and also like I just felt like every nerve on my body was exposed. So any time yeah. my kids would touch me, it hurt. It was like, yeah. yeah, I got my kids after about six weeks, I got them to call me Chrissy. Yeah. <laughs> No, I just couldn't stand it. I'm like, from now on, you can call me anything. One of my elder son was calling me toots. And I was like, yes, that's fine. Anything, anything but man. Anyway, it is giving day. Hashtag give, share, care is the hashtag to follow at the moment. Give anything you can. As we have said, it is quadruple today. A million bucks is um, the aim. And I reckon we can get there. Because I was saying um, with Jessie McPherson, the CEO of St Kilda Mums, how you realise in this time how little you do actually need and how um, I live in a world of almost revolting excess and I just don't need nearly anything that I've got. Yeah. Um, and it makes you, you know, it, it makes you feel good giving. Absolutely, so. absolutely, particularly when it's essential stuff for beautiful little babies, perfect, and women yeah. who need it. Yes, so get on board, Chrissy Swan. I love you. Thank you for your support for this um, incredible organisation. I love you and it's a pleasure. And next year we're going to have a few uh, glasses of bubbles at the uh, Secure well, Bond. Well, it's going to be in October. Oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Love you. Ciao, ciao. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Bye. <laughs> I am good, thank you. How are you? Good. It's nice to see you. And you. Green. You look very glamorous. Look at me with my beanie and my hoodie. I know it's like that, though. How deceiving is the sun at the moment? So I know. Like, oh, it's going to be warm. You walk out, you're like, oh, God. <laughs> I've missed about three layers. I know. I know. Man. So, Megan, big day today for St Kilda Mums. Yes. Everything that's donated, it is quadrupled. I know. Megally huge. A million bucks is where we need to get and I reckon we can do it. I reckon we can do it too because, I mean, 
First of all, I have to say, and I'm sure you'd agree with me, Mons, like it's it's been a tough time for a lot of people in recent mm. months. People, you know, a lot of people are, are very limited in terms of the funds that they can donate. But if there's ever a time to donate to St Kilda Mums, it's today with the with the quadrupling of, of funds, which I think is, is extremely generous and amazing for the initiative as well. Totally. So how did you get involved with St Kilda Mums? Because I often I also was told that you reshared something of theirs a little while ago. And that mm-hmm. one share you did to your community raised fifty thousand bucks. Yes. And that was well, that was um long after I was I guess, associated with St Kilda Mums and had known about them and it was for their Christmas appeal. Mm-hmm. And I, I was um, in over in Perth for Christmas with my family and I was just scrolling on Instagram and I saw that St Kilda Mums were doing Christmas appeal and I thought, oh, I should share that for sure. I'm sure there'd be some other people that would be like me and interested to, to participate in that. So it was just one of those little shares on Instagram and that's when social media is so amazing because it just spread through my little community which then had a flow on effect a positive flow on effect for St Kilda St Kilda mums so they were thrilled and I was thrilled for them so yeah it was really lovely but I was um first recommended to them um someone I was talking to years ago River was still a young bub and I had he had outgrown a number of clothes um and a lot of other things baby things that he just had outgrown and didn't need anymore and I I didn't want to dump them of course and I wanted to find the best place to rehome them and someone suggested St Kilda Mums to me um which was fantastic because I'm local to them as well um so I went over there when they were in their old premises their smaller premises um in in St Kilda and and met them and and it was so great to to have a place where I could rehome my my children's things that they didn't need anymore yeah, how are you, babes? How are you going with them in COVID? Oh, my God, Megan, I'm seriously going insane. <laughs> Homeschooling was interesting. I was really excited at first. I was like, oh, this is going to be yeah, fun. I'm going to be a teacher. I thought, well, this is good. I had my little charts and, and then, you know, you get to sort of week seven and you're like, wow, okay, um, I'm not cut out for this. There's no. a reason why people go to uni and get a degree to do it because it's <laughs> week seven to figure that out. I was week three and I'm like, nah, do we need school? Probably not. Uh, no, it was probably earlier that it started to kind of dawn on me. But I think by about week seven we were feeling the pinch. But I think with Sean and I, we played to our strengths. There were certain things that he had more patience for than me and vice versa. So um, I think that was the thing that there was the patience level between child and parent that was getting completely challenged. And I heard that across the board with a lot of families. But I think I think we all did so well. And, and how about our teachers, huh? How yeah. amazing are they? Oh, my God, seriously. It, they aren't getting paid enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I think it was a big wake-up call, wasn't it? Because I, yeah. I know, like, you just sometimes complain and go, oh, God, my school's not doing this or this. And it's like, oh, my God, seriously. Yeah. Like as long yeah. as it's understanding, I'm happy now. Like yeah. it just is unbelievable the work they do. And my eight-year-old just, just got so feral. He went back last <laughs> week. And I'm like, I felt so bad sending him back to the teacher. I'm like, I'm sorry I've broken this child. Please, <laughs> you know, you him fix him back. and put him back together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I know. And, um, with Sean's business as well, that was mm. closed down. So you guys literally just bunkered down altogether. So, um, yeah, we bunkered down, but with him sort of bunkering down, he helped me. He was working with me on my business, on Mindful Life. So we got to work together every day. There were elements to my business that he worked on that I didn't even know the skill sets that he had, especially with anything technical, IT, graphic design, web, like that's not my strength. (laughs) But he's like a gun with it all. Oh, my God, where have you been all my life? So he'll still continue to work on the business as well because he's just... Far out, that's risky. I often say to Sam, mm. I'm like, let's do something together. He's like, Are you mad? I don't want to work with you. I'm like, Wow, so easy going. Why would you not? You want two me? could do some great things together, I think. Mate, I'm like, As long as I'm the boss, it's all right. Yes. Maybe that's why it works for you. You're the boss of the <laughs> <laughs> No, I definitely, I was very careful to make sure it seemed like an equal environment. Um, yeah. yeah, you've got to do that, I think, with your staff, anyone. With your um, business being so mindful, um, chatting to a couple of the other the other women um, 
who are getting behind this day, which mm. today is Giving Day, just recapping, give what you can to St Kilda Mums, yeah. um, how uh, little we actually do need, how little some people do actually have, but for yeah. people, people like yourself and, and me, how fortunate we are, mm. how much, you know, especially during this time looking around going, we actually don't need nearly any of this shit that we've got. Yeah. And then there are other mamas out there who don't even have a pram to be able to take their babies for a walk. So it's I know everything going on in the world. It's everyone's kind of waking up a little bit, which I think is incredible. It really, um, I think it really allowed everyone just to kind of reassess and yeah. reprioritize what was important. Even something that we probably were all guilty of taking advantage of every day is our health. Yeah. Just, oh, great, today I'm healthy. There are some people who have unfortunately been struck down with this, this disease. I mean, even that, even little things you appreciate going, oh, my God, I can, you know, can't wait till I can take my kid to a playground, mm. um, hug my mum, you know, like little things that are non not materialistic at all um, that you start to have an appreciation for and then that does have a flow-on effect of, oh, my God, how, how imagine you do start to think about people who are less fortunate, like the families that St Kilda mums help, that how are they going in those times? They're, they're barely able to pull together some belongings and a safe home for them and their children and, and, then, and then you've got to deal with COVID and isolation and lockdowns and homeschooling on top of that. My goodness. Yeah. You really do start to realise how, how, how good you have it and how lucky you are. Totally, yeah. Mm. I know that um, St Kilda Mums is so appreciative for you getting behind them. You share so much of their um, their stuff on social media to your mm. audience as well as attend their events and miss seeing you um, in what, when was it, May? Is that was St Kilda? We, um, we would have had the Mother's Day um Yes. Yes. So hopefully in October that will happen. And um, Yeah. But anyway, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, thank you again, Meg. It's great to see you. And, um, and hopefully we'll chat soon. Yes, and everyone make sure you donate. Today's the day. Yeah, you beauty. Bye, Meg. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Monty. <gasps> Darling. <laughs> what a treat. You're a bloody treat. How are Look you, fabulous? You. How come I haven't been on your podcast? I, I know I need to get you on. I just need you in my life more. Please. I know. Don't we all need a bit of Della? Oh, titties and all. Like, oh. I need that top. That bling is next level. You know, I got it from ASOS. Can you believe? I know, ASOS. The large and in charge section. <laughs> what a treat to see you. I love you've even got your name written in um, neon behind you. I know. This is what I do with all my hooker money. I've been picking myself <laughs> out and doing some, um, uh, like, online quizzes called Della's Fabulous Fact Hunt. Oh, and, um, I've seen <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So I did one for like Canada on the weekend and the weekend before I did one for these people oh. in the UK. So going global. Um, but it's yeah, fun. It's like all these quizzes and people just love it. So why not? Who am I? Who and am are you I still them? working? Seriously. Are you still working from home? Because you're yeah. um, with Zendesk who have been yeah. massive supporters of um, St Kilda Mums yes. as you have personally as well. Huge. So you guys are still from home? Yeah, we're still working from home. It's like it's still kind of unknown as to what's going on at the moment. But, yeah, we're we're sort of taking it region by region. When I met you last year for the first yes. time, Thank Mums, I was emceeing and then you stole the show. Which <laughs> <I didn't know. laughs> was it the second time you had been you out in public? Was it you were very new to Yeah. You? So, well, like, I started doing... Drag, be, like I worked in radio for 10 years. So I used to work in Nova and Mix, all that in Adelaide. Uh -huh. um, so I've been around the biz for a while and uh -huh. I moved to Melbourne hoping to get back into radio, but it was at the time where Adelaide was really shrinking down. So a lot of people were looking for, were looking for gigs. So I got into, um, 
I worked for Apple for a bit and then I found this job at Zendesk and they were like, oh, you used to work in radio. Do you reckon you'd be able to host our Christmas in July party? And this is a couple of years ago now. And I was like, sure. And I'm like, oh, I only know about 20% of the building and lots of different nationalities and backgrounds. I don't know. And then I was like, maybe I can do it in drag. And they were like, we would love to. And, you know, they were so accepting and so supportive of everything. And I thought, I'm going to give it a shot. It's going to go really, really, really well, or it's going to go really, really, really bad. And then I can just dispose the character and, and never have to worry about it again. But it went so well. And people were able to disconnect Della and Azza. Yeah. And um, so I did the Christmas in July the year after. But just before that, I, I did the St Kilda Mums gig. So it was my second time in public as Della. Um, yeah. So that wow. was fun. It was so fun. And you were so brilliant and you've got such a potty mouth and you know, it's so <laughs> brilliant. I couldn't help myself. There were footballers around. Oh, I couldn't help myself. Yes. yes. Cause we were in the glass building and behind us. I know. I felt like I channeled them because they're <laughs> filthy. They are filthy. <laughs> oh, so good. I love it. Okay. Yeah. So we are here today because it is very important. It is totally. Thanksgiving Day. Everything donated today to St Kilda Mums is quadrupled. I can't um, believe that. And I yeah. am terrible at mathematics. Yes. But that means four times the amount. So that's I like so. a lot. A lot, yes. Which is great. So if there's any time to give, it's today. It's totally. right now. Yep. Times it by four. What more could you want? <laughs> and the thing is that it goes to things like cots and prams and clothing and nappies and the essentials for the beautiful mamas out there who need a little extra love. And a million bucks is uh, the aim of the game today. Easy. 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 Oh, you do that all by that. yourself, Della. Darling, I don't get out of bed for less than a million dollars. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> or I don't get out of bed for anything less than four times of anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I've got four times the amount of foundation on than you, I can guarantee you that much. But, you know, I think it's it's an easy goal, especially right now when we all need a warm hug mm -hmm. and we all need to, to share some love and positivity is contagious. And helping these guys out at St Kilda Mums uh, puts a nice big warm hug around them so they can hug everyone else, which I just think is fabulous. And I love my time there. I volunteer there a lot. Not in this gish, um, but I am there a lot. You should, you should do some deliveries. Oh, Dalek, I know. I'm waiting for the call, Jesse. <laughs> waiting for the call but I just think it's fabulous and I just absolutely love everyone there the they just have hearts of gold yeah. that's why I wore this color darling yeah. because yeah I just absolutely love my time there love everything that they do and I just think today is the day to reach inside your pocket well, you've been home you haven't been spending your cash on anything yeah. you've got your concert tickets all refunded you need to send it over to St Kilda Mums yeah, spot on. Have you had any concerts locked? Oh, side note, what do you think of the new Gaga album? Oh, does Gaga redefine homosexuality every time that she puts something out? Of course she does. It's fantastic. Yeah. Isn't she just a queen? Isn't she great? I just, you know, I, I, I've worked with her. I did her, war, like, true story. Yeah. I did her wardrobe for her first two Australian concerts in Adelaide. Did you? What do you yeah. mean in your wardrobe? You picked her outfit? Like it was a total accident. I got I got asked because I was working radio, so I had a friend that was like, oh, do you want to come help with the the first concert? Gaga was supporting Pussycat Dolls. Yes. I'll, she was I'll, the support I'll, act. Yep, yep. So they asked me, they said, oh, you'll be, uh, you won't be working on Pussycat Dolls. You'll probably be working on the support act. And I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. And so I was a runner for them. So basically what that is is, at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre, they would go, hey, we need some AA batteries. So I'd piss off and go buy them. You know, I'd just do shit for them all the time because they yeah. didn't know Adelaide. And um, they, yeah, I, I, their um, main wardrobe person was sick. The whole tour was falling down because they were doing Sydney, Adelaide, Brisbane, Melbourne, like every single night. Like it was like a five-night tour and then they were going back overseas. It was crazy. Two of the Pussycat Dolls were violently ill. Lucky they didn't ask me to sub in for that. I would have. but Because, um, you know, they're all backup dancers except for one. But anyway, I, 
I was on Gaga's and her wardrobe person was six. They're like, can you help on wardrobe? Can you do it? And I'm like, yep. You know me, fake it till you make it. You know, I'll say yes and then I'll work it out. So I'm like cleaning her bubble dress, steaming oh. her backup dancers, crap, like crazy. And then doing a quick change. So as she was on stage, she'd come off. We'd strip her off. Yeah. Put her clothes back on. So I have touched the gags. She <gasps> follows me on Twitter and Does we DM she- every now and again. I oh, know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm 100% legit. The gags and I are going back. She is fabulous. She is kooky. She is crazy. She's everything that I wanted her to be. And, you know, when people say don't meet your idols, I'm just like, piss off. I'd rather meet them than hate them. Uh, and yeah. I just loved her. So she's great. Yeah. Album great. Oh, who knew that was going to lead to that delicious little story that you've seen her in a Yeah, I know. Time? There you go. There's a scoop. A scoop. Oh, there's a scoop. Get that one on the Daily Mail. <laughs> totally. It's always my fun fact at work, you know, where they do like two truths and a lie. Oh, I'm yes, like, we play that with my kids. Yeah. <laughs> I'll play with your kids and I'll win because have they got a story like that? Probably not. You're yeah. like a piece of art. <laughs> I've, I've been called worse, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a Picasso. Um, but it's it's interesting that, like, uh, you draw it on and it's like, oh, my God, no, I've got a wonky eye or an angry eyebrow or whatever. So it's different every time, which which I love, and I'm, I'm learning every time as well because I have – uh, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, I still think I'm very new, but anyway. Yeah, you're still a baby. Totally. My face one time. Oh, I'd love to. Yes. I'll do anything you want. We need to hang out. We, we spoke you? about this at the last luncheon. I was like, you, me and Chrissy Swan. Yeah. We're going to be like having smashed Avo. Yeah. Like it's no one's goddamn business. I know. We just bring called Thesha on. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yes. And, and the year has flown by and here we are. <laughs> Here we are. Well, what a treat to speak to you. It has been St Kilda Mums has brought us together. Totally. Um, and they bring a lot of people together to raise money for um, giving people essentials for their babies and for their kids and to make life a little easier for so many yeah. people. And um, you and all of the guys at Zendesk are brilliant for how you support them. Um, so, everyone, get behind it. Hashtag today is give, share, care. And, um, Fabulous. Every, every little dollar that you uh, give gets quadrupled. Support St Kilda Mums Day. It's all about that. I'll allow today to be all about St Kilda Mums instead of me for once. Oh, just for once, just for this 10 minutes, and then as soon as this is over, it's all that's back it. to you, babes. As soon as I hang up, that's it. I'm straight back on my Instagram and I'm like, Monty who? <laughs> <laughs> Monty Di Monty. Did you know that there is a drag queen called Monty Di Monty? Love it. All right, love bug. Thank you very much. So good to see you, my darling. You too. You look beautiful and I love you lots. Ciao, ciao. You too. Bye. Bye.